Morning, sunshine. Hot Cheetos. We got like 20 inches of bicep. Go, Franny. Go, Franny. I'll smack you so hard, your three hairs on your chin will fall off. Oh, man. You gotta hit it like you mean it. This coffee's never gonna get cold today. Boom! <laughs> yes! Good morning. It is a Tuesday here for me in Wisconsin, and it is gonna be super hot today, mid 90s. And if you're wondering if it's gonna be humid, just take a look at the air behind me. It's 5.30 in the morning, and when it looks like that, you already know that the air is saturated. So today we're going back to a job. You guys know the job already, the one with the walls and the pillars. We were supposed to pour it this morning, but I got a text on Sunday night and they wanted to make changes. It's not that they didn't like what we did, it's that they liked what we did too much and they wanted more of it. So they want three more pillars and two more walls kind of closing in uh, for the most part the other side of the patio. So really kind of messed up my schedule because I had concrete for this morning and I don't have concrete again until Friday. So uh, we started another job yesterday. So today we're going to go finish the wall and pillars. Tomorrow we'll go back to the job that we started, uh, finish setting or start setting that up, I should say, that we removed the deck on. And then I'm not going to be able to pour this patio until Friday. So uh, I don't know what today's gonna bring. You guys always know that we have fun and try to get something done at the same time. So I'm gonna take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? What? No Diet Dr. Pepper? Come on. Good morning. Morning. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right, just pulling into the yard. It's 5:56. Obviously, nobody's gonna be here yet. I'm expecting Eric, Francisco, and Marcel and myself today. So I'll be driving the dump truck again today. Well, I still have some block on here from the other day because I overordered. I just need to count these up and then uh, figure the extra that I need. Go pick up some pallets and head down there. I gotta take the skid loader down because I have nowhere else to put block except this trailer. So once we get to the job, we're not gonna have a skid loader to unload. I'm gonna have the guys just hand unload into the power buggy or wheelbarrows and bring me blocks. There's no other good option because the job is so far away. It's like 35 minutes away. So I'm definitely not doing another trip. Francisco's here. Morning, sunshine. Who let the guns out? Wow. I didn't know you had all those tattoos. You didn't put that on your resume. <laughs> oh, man. Very, very hot today. Did you? Hey, grab that saran wrap and come up here. We got to fix these blocks. Daryl's here. Daryl's here? Surprise. That's surprising. What are you doing here? Just show up out of the blue. Eric's here. Whoa, he got all the flashing lights, the strobes. Yeah. He got all the professional strobe lights? Yeah, they, they came with that. I, I fixed it yesterday. You fixed it? Turn it on. <laughs> Eric, man, I don't even know what to say. You got strobe lights on your truck, you got a trailer, and you bought a breaker. And you don't even know how to plug the breaker in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I learned from you. Yeah. No Mr. Marcel so far? What are you taking the fuel tank off for? Fuel no. pump? No, no, just no, the bill that holds the, 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 the whole Oh the strap. strap yeah, the strap's yeah, sure. broke. You should just weld the tank to the frame. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Ryan! Why did you tell me to do that? Just grind it, weld I did, it. I cut it. I just cut use it. a cutting torch. Yeah, <laughs> He's gonna do it. Don't worry, Francisco. Ryan told me it's cool. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I don't even think we need to take that. We'll just use a wheelbarrow. It's not that much block. And there's four, five people here. And most of the time I'm just laying the pillars and you guys just wait for me anyway. I need you to show up at 6.30, not 6.32. Hold on, what'd you say? So when you don't come in at all, then you're the yeah. master. Yeah, we need, you need to go to Home Depot and get mortar. Probably three bags, right? Deep enough. Hey, did you guys hear Milwaukee Public Schools is calling half a day today? Yeah. Because what? of the heat, yeah. they said it's too hot for the kids. <laughs> Come on. That's what I'm they saying. They never did that when I was young. No, no. they never did that. Honestly, like we are training the new generation yeah. to be quitters yeah. and to be weak. And not only that, in the wintertime, the snow, 
They have three or four inches. School's canceled. Oh yeah. How are you gonna call it snow day in Wisconsin with three inches of snow? This is Wisconsin. I'm, t I'm telling you, they're training the new generation to be weak and to quit when it's too hard. Watch out, Eric, or Daryl strap you down too. You need gas? You better not put gas in my diesel truck. I will smack you silly. I'll smack you so hard your three hairs on your chin will fall off. But doesn't it take diesel? Yes. I just said that. You said it, gas. I gotta go get blocks and pay for them and everything. So I'm just gonna give you money. I want the receipt in my hand and I don't wanna see $80 diesel, $10 <laughs> chips, soda. What are you guys talking about? What you gonna get at the gas station? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out of here. I'm gonna go get some block now. I'm over here by County Materials, just a few minutes away from my yard. They have all the block that you could ever want. They carry masonry block and then all the retaining wall block as well. What can I do for you? Well, we did a job and they're adding on, so I need to get some more block. That's okay. I mean, everybody forgets how to do addition sometimes. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right, thanks guys. They were all set. Their computers are down, so it took a little while in there, but. We got it figured out. He didn't even come out to help you at all? Come on. He just sits in the truck. Man. Man, you could have helped the guy. Yeah, right. Well, he had to move a whole half a pallet off because we're getting half a pallet of the one. He had to do it by hand. That's what's taking him so long. He's like, tell your driver I said thanks. I'm gonna follow you all the way there. All right, off to the job. Just pulling up on the job. Eric's here to give me the receipt. I told him he needs to put it in my hand. Hot it. Cheetos. <laughs> As you can hear, there's generators running in the neighborhood. There's one right there. So the power's out here. On the way here, uh, a lot of the traffic signals were out. The storm that blew through last night knocked out power to a large area here in Oak Creek. It's only been a few days and this grass is popping back up already. I'll show you the addition that we're making. So what we're doing is they wanted to mimic that corner here. So we're gonna put another pillar right about there in line with that pillar on this side, fill this in with a wall and then leave about a six foot opening uh, right about here. Another pillar there and then a wall up to the house. I'm going to put it real close to the siding probably leave like a quarter inch gap half inch gap or whatever hi ah, there's generators running all through the neighborhood how are you weekend. my weekend was fine always lots of work when did your power go out 4 30 yesterday yeah man we were out for a week last year after a storm and it was no fun at all man that's awesome thank you you guys went above and beyond you're kind of doing the same for us now i got something for him i bought him a present all right so i was on the job site and there's a little guy there, his name is Chase, and he's autistic. Great little kid. Yesterday when we were working, he was pretty scared of the noise. He didn't really have a good day, but today as we were working, we could tell he was warming up to us just a little bit. As I was setting the step by the patio door, he starts staring at the, the impact driver that I was using in Milwaukee, and uh, he was just staring at it, so I held it out, he grabbed it, and he, he pressed the trigger and he could just tell, you know, something inside of him just lit up. It's gonna be a gift not only for him, but it's gonna be something nice that his dad can use too. That should work good. Nice and light, small battery. There, I gotta get him interested in it again. Remember this? Oh my gosh. See? I don't know how to use it. Look it. What? That's for you. <gasps> what? Say thank you. Oh, dude. Say That's a present you. for you. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> thank you. Oh, no, it's no. very safe because there's wow. nothing that can hurt you. And this is a real, this is a real light one. So it's not like That's a beautiful. heavy one. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. At least these are easy. Wow, look at you guys. Who let the guns out? Man, with all three of you guys, we got like 20 inches of biceps right here. Look at you guys in the shade already. It's not even hot yet. <laughs> well, we gotta find a shade. <laughs> yeah, right. Take all this form down. This edge of the pillar to line up with the border, correct? That's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah, so we're putting it's a pillar like here and then another pillar against the wall. All right, start digging. We gotta dig the footing here. Just start digging. We gotta get down to the bottom of this block. About uh, another inch and a half. And you gotta dig more on this bank too. 
It's going right in the middle. First course of the return is just about done. I got two more blocks to lay for the pillar, but I'm waiting for mortar. We're gonna have to notch out. I have to take one of them blocks off. We gotta notch out because water is gonna have to drain right through in that corner. And the bottom one, dude. Why oh, you got it already? Oh man, you're just like Eric with that glue. All right, that's where all the water is gonna drain out right there. From this whole patio it's going to drain right through there a four inch hole like that that can take a lot of water even if it backs up i mean in a massive thunderstorm it'll just back up and go down the step i might put a little drain cap on there All right, I finished the first course there. Marcel and uh, Francisco will finish that wall. I'm gonna start over here. Eric's grinding all the glue off. We had to disassemble that pillar because I wanna notch that in at that course, just so it's tied into that corner somewhere. If you tooth it in and glue it, it's not gonna go anywhere. Especially here, it's not really retaining anything. These pillars here, we tooth in every other course because there's more retention over there, the grade slopes off but over here there's no retention at all this coffee's never gonna get cold today it's gonna be too hot to drink all day he went out to dunkin donuts and bought it just for us all right no person wearing a victory shirt. Not, today. not today it's just not a victory kind of day no victory gear today i'll tell you what it is very hot already i'm kind of glad we're not pouring any concrete today to be honest i'd rather do this and be able to take my time then let the concrete dictate how fast i work it's 8 9 13 we would have poured at 8 right now we would have been scrubbing we would have had the uh finishing aid out here i would have been scrubbing these steps francisco would have still been on the first square daryl would have been videoing while we're scrubbing hey, look at how you're sweating just to be completely honest call me a sissy if you want but 96 degrees pretty hot i saw a heat map this morning and it was all across the midwest so a lot of you guys are dealing with the same thing today it's probably the first day of many for this summer it's only the middle of june we got all of the rest of june july and august and half of september here in wisconsin where we get the heat you guys down south get it all summer six months seven months i don't know whatever you get but no thanks you can keep this i know i talk about the heat a lot but the heat has a major effect on your work output it's a big deal it really is it can also be dangerous for some people i've never had heat stroke i know i've been very close several times but man i'm just baking over here look i got ow i got look at that it's so hot over here flies are landing me they think i'm rotting away already i think i'm gonna leave you guys on the jobs i have to think about that nope I already thought about it. Dude, I feel like a big block with no radiator. <laughs> I'm serious. Daryl goes for some blocks and he comes back like 25 minutes later. Look, it looks like it's snowing out and it's 90 degrees. Look at that. It looks like it. I bet it's gonna be like this every day, all summer long. If you work in Florida, Arizona, this is how it is every day. This is normal. This probably isn't that hot for them. It's just tired of raining though. They're probably 100 plus. Yeah, the gnats are all over the place. There's flies everywhere. The flies were landing on me over there. They thought I was dead already. <laughs> they did one bit me really yeah no way yeah i killed it i was like pow 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 all right things are going good it's warm but we're making pretty good progress it's uh 10 35 right now i got the base course laid everywhere these guys are going to be done with this wall soon
your pillars are like this like one's this way and one's this way let's put the line on it let's see what we got hit yours that way you gotta hit it like you mean it gaps are good in drag racing but not in laying block Why are you helping now, Eric? Because I put the camera on? Tell me the truth. Are you bringing some long ones? I don't know why he stopped. Coming out. Move that, uh, move that stomper. I can come right through there. Got it? I really want to just finish this. Pull whatever you need. Three. One, two, three. And then just use long ones to cut. You know what I mean? That way we're completely done with the walls when we come to pour the concrete. Nobody has to worry about cutting block. I'm going to put this board up just with these two pins. I'm going to screw it up, make sure it's graded perfect, and then I'll pull the screws, pull the board off so we can get the buggy through here when we pour. Here, when concrete's here, you don't have any extra time at all. Almost done! Francisco, take this to the road. Go, Franny! Go, Franny! All right, that's the step down, and I'm going to run a shut off across the back of the blocks for the little landing pad. It's all the blocks, right? All the blocks. Yes! We're done. 12.23. Done. We would have been done way earlier if we didn't have to keep taking breaks. Dude, I took like 10 breaks already. I ain't gonna lie. I took 10 about three another one. <laughs> hey, but not, exactly. Not. What if we lose a concrete? We gotta take it out with jackhammers. And then we we move all the walls, knock the pillars over. We gotta start over. Remember when you guys poured that driveway yeah. in New Berlin? And I was on the other job and you guys were like, Ryan is getting away. I went over there, it was already so hard. I just started taking it out with the Bobcat right away. Man, we just gotta pick everything up. Now we're That's done. It. I'm gonna call, see if we can get some mud. Nope. Yes or no? Yeah, crazy. We could pour it wet though. No, I almost forgot about this. Shout out to Mike Hogue. Sent me a grip strength tester. And he also sent me a little Ford plaque to hang in my office. He said, test your guy's strength. So. Honestly, my grip strength is not very good, but it's probably better than Eric's. We got to test our grip strength. They, they bought this. Just grab it with your strong hand. Squeeze it as hard as you squeeze it as hard as you can. I don't even have power right now. Just try. I know. The thing is, is if we do it now, we got the excuse like, oh, it was too hot. Hmm. It would have been like 50 more if it wasn't hot. Okay. So we'll do it now. I'm going to get everything I got right now. Just squeeze it hard for a couple seconds and then let go as hard as you can. Okay, you can let go. Just a couple seconds. 90 point. Hey, it, it must be the heat. 90 is not very good. It was really only a little bit more than my wife's. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but remember, it's the heat. And then let go. 114 for Darrow. You're in, you're in first place. And let go. Hard as you can. Like, bow. And then let go. When do you think you got it? 132. That's pretty good. When do you think you got the best? 112.6 respectable 70 you went to a 90 uh, 170.4 oh, power's back on that's good not having power is a pretty big inconvenience when it's not mid 90s it took a couple days for our house to get really hot when our power went out last year and my family the kids even the girls are pretty tough they don't complain that much what you guys doing over here so hot it's so day. hot man we gotta give us a half day tomorrow Milwaukee Public Schools is calling half a day today because of the heat. They said it's too hot for the kids. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Can't even breathe, huh? Why are you so hot? Oh, uh, it's warm Can't. out here. <laughs> just a little bit. All right, we're done for today. It's just like around 1 o'clock. It's a little less, maybe 1230. Finished up the wall and pillars gonna have a step down there and then it'll be a landing pad so it's gonna look real nice I can't pour, I can't wait to pour this one and yeah, it's gonna look real sharp so we're not coming back here tomorrow 
I don't have concrete ordered. It's going to be either Thursday or Friday morning. We'll pour this. Today is uh, Tuesday. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. Hasta luego, familia. Adios, raza. Adios.